we got to watch out for our kids. <laughs> got to watch out for our kids. This is a rough world out there, getting rougher every day. Proposed amendments to strengthen county ordinances to protect children from sexual predators were heard at yesterday's St. John's County Commissioner's meeting. Liz Ryan has our top story. Even with its small production budget, the movie Sound of Freedom has surpassed box office expectations, bringing unprecedented awareness to the tragic topic of child exploitation. The board took action to tighten the restraints on those who have harmed children. These changes would increase the types of costumes and masks offenders are not allowed to wear. Senior Assistant County Attorney Bradley Bulltice. To include anything that would alter the person's appearance, Santa Claus, Easter Bunny, you know, movie characters. There's an existing ordinance. Since 2009, the county has had an ordinance that made it unlawful for those registered sex offenders to participate in holiday events. So as not to leave participate open to interpretation, they want to expand the definition. To include attending, taking part in, or cooperating with the organization of an event. So things like a school field day or some other activity that is, again, focused on children that are not familial to the sex offender. There are existing restrictions specific to Halloween. Prohibiting the sex offender from participating in any Halloween-related events and requiring all lights to be off and to have no exterior decorations that might attract children. And it's not just their houses they can't decorate to entice children. But also vehicles and vessels. The enhanced ordinance would be much more specific about the types of holiday decorations offenders would not be allowed to display. Inflatables and holograms and projections that track the attention for children, lining the walkway with those decorations or lights. This was a first reading and required no action from the board. For St. Augustine's Local Morning News, I'm Liz Ryan. This local news is a service of your hometown Toyota dealer, Beaver Toyota US1 St. Augustine, here to wow you. Residents of the Prairie Lakes neighborhood near World Golf Village in St. Augustine are on edge, saying they've caught nearly two dozen ball pythons roaming around. Brian Payne owns Critter Pro in St. John's County. They're actually pet snakes. Somebody irresponsibly has released approximately 25 heavy-bodied pythons in an area. The majority of those snakes have been rounded up and placed with a couple different agencies, but they were pet snakes that somebody released into the wild. And it's, it's not a good scenario for those snakes to be loose in our area because they, they do grow extremely large. Payne says your pets could be at risk. They are a danger to your small animals, small dogs and cats. The problem with these snakes are is, is that there are no natural predators for them. So they tend to take over the food chain and they can really hurt an underlying animal population, whether it's natural wildlife and or pets and things of that nature. Anyone who finds a snake is asked to safely take photos and contact the Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation Commission. With St. Augustine's Local Morning News, I'm Amy Sherry. A commuter rail project is being discussed to connect Jacksonville to St. Augustine. The Jacksonville Transportation Authority has proposed First Coast Commuter Rail Project is the first of its kind in Northeast Florida. The 38-plus mile corridor would connect downtown Jacksonville to St. Augustine, providing enhanced rail transit service for employment, education, and health care needs of the community. On Wednesday, August 9th at 4.30 p.m. in the Alcazar Room of City Hall, the Jacksonville Jacksonville Transportation Authority First Coast Commuter Transit Oriented Development Project team will hold a community workshop to help shape the station area plans and to gather your input on what is being proposed. For St. Augustine's Local Morning News, I'm Karen Johnson. And now you're up to date with St. Augustine's Local Morning News. I'm Rich Carroll.